So Jesus knew what was in the heart of every man. Uh, unfortunately, we have sin in our lives. Uh, every man has fallen short of the glory of God. He who is without sin cast the first stone. Um, so a lot of times we can get into this accusatory behavior in which, you know, we have sin in our own lives, like a deep sin in our own lives. Um, but we start accusing people of what they're doing. Um, and it's not for the glory of the Father. It's not for sanctification purpose. It's, there's no good intentions behind it. And that is a huge issue uh, to the Father. And what I'm learning lately is it's okay to correct people in righteousness, but not with malintent. Okay? You need to have the intent to bring them closer to the Father, to love them, and that kind of thing. Um, there's a sister, I don't know, I don't know, but I feel like the Father had put on my heart that she was really glorifying some things in this world. Um, food, things, uh, materialism a little bit, depending on people to put her into hotels, depending on people to put gas in her car, you know. Uh, there comes a point where the line crosses from actually being needy uh, and needing help genuinely and being entitled and believing that everyone should provide for you. Uh, the latter is not of the Father. I know for a fact um, that your relationship is not good with the Father if you're doing those kinds of things uh, because you're then depending on man and those things to deliver you when you should actually be depending on the Father to deliver you. Uh, he showed me about a year ago that he can provide for me even if no one else wants to give me a thing. Uh, in the body of Christ, that is. Because sometimes, honestly, people in the body of Christ, like if they're being selfish or whatever the deal is, their relationship isn't right with God, and so they don't want to do anything for you. Um, or they just don't really know who the Father is, and so, you know, they have a certain understanding about giving to people unless it's to their church or whatever the deal is. And so the father ended up sending people who I never would have thought would give to me. <laughs> and it was such a blessing. Um, and I learned that, you know, I have to go to him in prayer uh, and ask for what I need. And then he'll provide. And, you know, it even said the ravens were providing things. And so we know that we're not called to be ravens. There's several animals in which the father uh, likens us to. So just think about who a raven would be. Um, yeah, so I had to pray for this sister. I had to tell her what was straight up because she's dealing with a lot of illness. And the illness is also a sign that you're not right with the Father. Um, I know a lot of people will say, well, Job, Job. Okay, so here's the deal with Job. Job actually had pride in his heart. He also said that I only knew you through what people told me, but now I see who you are. And so also, that's the reason why Job was afflicted. We really need to know who God is. David said, you afflicted me, and now I understand your ways. So it means, like, maybe he wasn't necessarily walking in the ways of God all the time. Um, and I know because I experienced the same thing. You know, the scriptures have to come forth. These things happen, uh, so we might know, you know, this is who our God is. Um, so, you know, she's got a lot of illnesses and that kind of thing, and a lot. And I know God is a healer. Like, if we're really following him and doing what his word says, he will heal us from the inside out, and we will know who he is. And so I told her, you know, maybe you need to fast, and you need to get in the word, get some washing of the word, and you need to pray. Um, because I just know that you're leaning on things you shouldn't be. And with the fasting and the prayer, he'll reveal things from your heart, and he'll also heal your mind and your body, especially if you're reading his word. So the thing is, if you have a lot of illness uh, and it gets healed, then you're going to be able to provide for yourself because you're going to be able to work, um, whether that be for yourself or for other people. I mean, the lady is very young. She's in her like upper 40s or something like that. Uh, so to me, there's really no reason to be like, I can't do anything. You know, everyone has to do everything for me when the father is more than willing to heal you uh, so that you can do something for yourself. Um, and so honestly, we also need to pray for her because she just, I don't think she knows what spirit she's of. Like, I think she thinks she's walking in the Lord, um, because she's going around the country and, you know, she's out in her van, Jesus loves you and people talk to her or whatever the deal is. But the truth of the matter is it's more than that. Like he's calling us to be holy as he is holy. That is the very one, number one thing that he wants us to be in the first place. And then out of our holiness, then we'll go out and we'll tell people about him. Um, but we need to rest. We need to rest in him. Uh, we need to find our strength in him. Otherwise, we're going to be dwindled. We're going to start getting sick. I know this because this is literally what was happening to me. I started chasing after the things in the world, thinking that it was life, chasing after food and chasing after clothing. Um, started even chasing after men a little bit. 
uh, chasing after beaches, like just the next feeling type feel. And so I said, this is just, this isn't life. This isn't fulfilling me. Um, and so I started to pray about it. And I said, okay, Lord, what is it that you want? And then when I asked that, I feel like things started turning around. Like he started making me dislike those things that I was chasing. And he made me realize like what I needed was him because that's where my heart was in the first place. Like I went to a beach in Cuba and it was beautiful. It was a white sand beach and the water was like literally like swimming pool water, probably more blue and more clear and everything. And I just was like, you know, all I need is the father. Like, I don't, I mean, this is great. This is wonderful. The father created it. But at the end of the day, what does this value me if I don't have that relationship? And if other people can't enjoy these things with me um, with, a, with a full heart. So um, I just feel like we just enjoy things more in general when we're right with the father because he clears our minds of things. We don't have guilt. We don't have shame. So I am definitely praying for that for her and for everyone else out there as well to have that full solid relationship with the most high not to be seeking after things of this world um it's very deceptive out here because you are in a certain city like i'm in austin right now and austin is a very like fashion fitness food type place uh it's very vain it's very vain but the people here are super nice as well so you can kind of get sucked into okay what do they have that i don't have type deal and uh luckily well not luckily blessed be the lord i realized like it's all a surface level thing like they're dying on the inside unfortunately having no idea what they need is their heavenly father um but yeah that is the spirit of this age isn't it i mean you look at instagram and it's all about food and it's all about appearance and that kind of thing so uh we have to make sure we don't get sucked into those things thinking that they're life um and so believers just need to understand that like these are things that are important to god for us to do because they bring us closer to him yeshua said it's not if you fast it's when you fast so he is expecting us to fast so that we might uh become closer to him i know the pharisees were asking why don't your disciples fast and he's like well they don't have to fast if they're not in mourning if the bridegroom isn't with them but there will come a time where they will have to fast because of the bridegroom will be taken away and so this is a time in which the bridegroom has been taken away. Um, he did say he'll send us the Holy Spirit. I think that was in John 15 or 16. Um, he said, I'm going away, but I'll send you the counselor, which is the Holy Spirit. So uh, fast, guys. Definitely fast in this time because it's really perilous times. Um, and you will see some righteousness break through. You will learn some things that maybe you didn't know before. You will understand on a deeper level who God is, if that's really what you're seeking. And yeah, so anyway... Let's just try to turn from those things that aren't of him. They'll show us what they are. And let's be blessed. Have a good one. Bye.